Hello everyone and welcome to the second episode of Zoo Talk. We've been very busy with Zuba and with the new game Suspects, but we are really excited to be back and talk to you more about what's coming to the zoo again. We'll go more in details on Primal Instinct, which we teased in the last episode if you remember, and the character upgrade system that we are completely changing and we'll basically explain what it means for you as a player. Hello Zoopsters, it's good to be back. And I would just like to highlight something that Marco said. We just released our new game, Suspects. And it's great to see our beloved characters in a new game inside a mansion. It's pretty awesome. So we'll be providing a link to download in the description. So make sure to check it out. Now, as usual, I have the honor to actually introduce you to the agenda of every episode. So without further ado, let's see what we have in store for you today. We mentioned it already, and today is basically all about the new character progression revamp. Um, this time we'll go really in depth and we'll show you exactly what everything means, have some previews, screens, videos, and everything that should literally answer all your questions about this new system. Next is our 2021 roadmap. We said it before, if something changed, we would have told you, and this is what we're going to do. And lastly, we can't have a zoo talk without talking about our next character, so yes, at the end of this video, expect a new tease, because we have a very nice character coming to the zoo. As usual, this is going to be a packed episode with loads of new content, and no zoo talk episode could be completed without a special guest joining us. Today's not going to be different. We have Cam, Zuba's new community manager, joining us and she'll be sharing more details about the weapon attributes and the new character teaser and you've probably seen her around our discord server she goes by the username ant farm don't know why please ask her and hello and welcome cam to your first zoo talk hi everyone i'm super excited to be here and just share with you some more details of what we've been working on these past few months thanks again ken for joining us and all right let's get to it First off, let's get the roadmap out of the way. Initially, we had said that the character progression system and the primal instinct feature were going to be released somewhere around like March or April. And we are slightly behind on these features because of the server issues we have faced over the past, the past few months. And our team had to shift their focus on solving this, those issues, which uh, is are getting better now. And the good news is that we are very close to releasing these, these features in the upcoming weeks, and we can't wait for everyone to experience firsthand. As for the rest of the features mentioned in the roadmap, we're still planning on releasing them this year. And as those release dates come closer, we'll be releasing more information. If the plans change, we'll make sure to let you know. Okay? All right. And now let's get into what everyone has been waiting for, the upgrade tree in our new character progression system. Players will now be able to enhance different aspects of their characters and make their own choices and what they want to upgrade and what path they think it's best for the character. So the character progression will be based on an upgrade path, let's say, that works very similar to a board game. So unlocking one upgrade will unlock the next one, according to the path, of course. And the path consists of level upgrades, which, as you can see in the video, are represented by the big boxes and the mini upgrades, which are the small boxes. Tell us the difference between the level upgrades and the mini upgrades. Good question, Cam. Uh, a level upgrade will level up the character and upgrade their life points, while a mini upgrade will give you whatever the mini upgrade represents. So there's a wide variety of possibilities with the mini upgrades, like let's say increasing the damage of a specific we weapon or unlocking item slots, weapon attributes, which we'll talk about more about that soon, and much more. So some of these will be very frequent, like the damage upgrades, and some will be very special and unique, like unlocking the new Primal Instinct. But one thing, I've heard something about weapon attributes. Can anyone explain me exactly what those are? Great question, Marco. So the weapon attributes are a new feature where you can enhance and customize the stats of your weapons. And now players will be able to freely allocate their skill points to try out different setups, customize, and really create a deeper level of variety for the gameplay. So every time players get a mini upgrade, um, that consists of a weapon attribute. And they'll be able to choose which of the three or four available stats they wish to upgrade for that specific weapon. 
The difference between stats is important because sometimes a specific stat might make sense to upgrade for a specific weapon, but not for another. And do you have any example for these that can be useful for understanding it better? Yeah, of course. Um, we might upgrade projectile speed for spear throw if the character throws a projectile when using this weapon, but it doesn't make sense to upgrade projectile speed for a spear 360 if the character uses the spin for the weapon to cause the damage instead. And these weapon attributes will allow players to have the new and relevant choices while upgrading their characters. And I just think it'll be fun to be able to try out the different builds of the weapon attributes and just try out what works for you and your character. Um, and then also I wanted to add that players are gonna be able to freely change the allocation of their attribute points at any time before joining a match. That's awesome. I don't think anyone was expecting that to be honest and I'm sure everyone will be very excited to finally play their character the way they want pretty much. So very excited for this one. One thing worth to mention here as well is that based on the community feedback we also changed the character selection screen we wanted it to look fresher with to look new and one and very like more meaningful compared to the one that we have before now that we have a more solid user interface for the war character progression we thought it was basically natural to also revamp that part so here's how it's going to look like and we are very very excited to share this with you uh, so Marco, I heard you uh, mention Primal Instinct earlier. Would you be able to touch on that a little bit? Yes, absolutely yes. I'm very excited for this. Um, you know, speaking with other people on the development team, I think the easiest way to explain these at this point would be like super passives abilities. Um, because basically we mentioned before that for every character you would have a new play way to play it. Um, it's not as easy to implement, for example, a new super ability, but for passives, we do believe that we found a great way to have something fun and add some more flavor to a single character. So this is the way we work. Basically, while you play and level up your character, at a certain point, you will unlock the primal instinct slot. Once you have the slot, however, you will still need to unlock it in a crate or buy it from the store. Long story short, the goal of Primal Instinct is to add more strategy to the character's gameplay. So let me share a video with you all. Uh, this is Frank using his Primal Instinct and let me show you exactly when it triggers. Now it will now drink some water and it will go in inflated mode. And there you go. Now Frank is actually slowing down all enemies uh, that are close to him. This is his primal instinct, it's called Rambling Walk, and that's the new flavor I was mentioning before. So we won't spoil the primal instinct for all the characters yet. We have a lot of content creators that really want to share the primal instinct of all the characters, so I really invite you to go on YouTube and look for these videos that are coming soon in the coming days. And yeah. We can't wait to see how you will react to the new Primal Instinct abilities and we can't wait to see what our community will actually do with all of these abilities in the game. And just one thing I'd like to add here, uh, besides Primal Instinct being amazing, is that everything you see here in this video is still a work in progress. So things might change for when we release the final version of this new system. Uh, so this is just to give you a general idea of how it's going to look like, what we're working on, but let's just keep that in mind, okay? Yeah, thanks for that. And then, of course, I have a little character teaser for everyone. We've been seeing a lot of people asking for this type of character, um, so we're super excited to see her join the zoo soon. Um, and you may have even noticed her in our other game, Suspects. And it seems like Steve and Henry will have a flying buddy in the Sioux soon. And yeah, one thing I want to mention here before everyone jumps to conclusion, to be honest, is that every character in Suspects will not come to Zuba. While Suspect is based on the Zuba IP, um, the Suspect teams still want the freedom to basically implement everything that comes in their mind. So we have a very large roster of characters in that game, but not, of, not all of them will come to Zuba. 
However, we are very, very excited to have Yara from Suspect joining the team of Zuba. That being said, unfortunately, this is all for today. That was a great second episode and I can't wait to actually move on and do the third episode because there is a very exciting full future for Zuba. And I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. And yeah, Ferry, Cam, anything to add? Thank you, Marco. And thank you for joining us, Cam, and helping us share all this amazing information with our Zoobsters. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as we're close to reaching the next milestone of 250,000 followers. That's amazing. It's insane. And remember, everyone will receive 250 gems in-game once we reach the target. So uh, I don't want to sound cheesy, but hit the subscribe button. Uh, we're almost there. Hey, that's my line, you know. Uh, every time we close the video, I do remind everyone to like and subscribe. Don't steal it. Anyways, you know what? If you like the video, go down there, hit that button and subscribe. And if you don't want to miss any Zuba news, you are in the right place. So make sure to hit the bell notification button to stay up to date with every Zuba video release. Until next time, see you in the zoo.